Worship actually means to bow down. That's what it means. The Greek terms for worship, proskunio is one of them, means to bow down and kiss. You cannot bow down and kiss the feet of someone you are not right in front of. All of Israel were invited up the mountain to see him face to face and worship him. They would have all received the commandments. There might not have had to have been commandments. Because what they said to Moses was, you go. If I go, he's going to kill me. You go, find out what he wants, get the rules, bring them down, and we'll just obey the rules. They created a priesthood. God wanted friends. He wanted, he wanted family. He wanted face-to-face -face with everybody. God and Moses, this one's my favorite, okay? Then the Lord said to Moses, go down. Because your people, whom you brought out of Egypt, have become corrupt. They've been quick to turn away from what I commanded them. They made for themselves a golden calf. They bowed down to it. They sacrificed to it. They've said, these are your gods, Israel, who you brought up out of Egypt. I've seen these people, the Lord said to Moses. They're stiff-necked. Now leave me alone. So my anger may burn against them, and I may destroy them. I'll make you a great nation. But Moses sought the favor of the Lord. He said, why should your anger burn against them? <laughs> Whom you brought out of Egypt? With great power and a mighty hand? Why should the Egyptians say, it was for evil intent that you brought them out. <laughs> to kill them in the mountains, to wipe them off the face of the earth. Remember your servants, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to whom you swore by your own self. I will make your descendants as numerous as the stars. <laughs> then the Lord relented and did not bring the disaster he had threatened. Now, was the Lord actually going to kill them? And Moses was so influential that he stopped them. Or were they having a conversation between friends? 